The mayor of Markham is blasting Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard over her behavior in her other job as Thornton Township Supervisor. Mayor Roger Agpawa and village trustees told our Dane Placco there needs to be a change in leadership at the township, which includes the village of Markham and more than a dozen other South Suburban communities. The mayor started tonight's village board meeting condemning Henyard's recent actions and some statements she has made about Markham's property taxes. That is what's happening in Thornton Township, and it's unfortunate for that leadership. But we'll call it out, and we'll move on. But we're not going to get part of the circus. We won't let that happen. The mayor told us Henyard seems to be enjoying operating in a climate of chaos, and that needs to end. Let's check. So as you can see, Mayor <laughs> Tiffany Henyard uh, is being attacked on many different levels. So now you have, we saw a couple months ago that Thornton Township's mayors was coming after Tiffany Henyard. So he's now speaking to Fox 32 again, and he's talking about the corruption and all the chaos that's going on there. He says that she likes to operate in chaos. But she's not, um, he's not the only one. There were other mayors that was uh, in the township that was coming after her. But you also have the news people, uh, Fox 32, WGN, um, uh, all kinds of Chicago publications. They were talking to the governor. And they was asking the governor, um, what did he, what, what did he think, what, uh, Prisker, what did Prisker think? And should the governor's office go after Tiffany Henyard as well? So then you will have Lori Lightfoot, you will have the feds, you will have the state department, all of these people coming after Tiffany Henyard because this thing has went national. It's, it's all over the country. Um, it's, I mean, excuse me, international. People in other countries is watching what's going on down there in Dalton. You know, so Governor Prisker, he gave his opinion and he explained to the people um, what's going on and what's his opinion and what he what he thinks is going to happen. And he said this. Governor, are you monitoring what's going on in Dalton and Thornton Township and leadership there? Are you concerned? Taxpayers seem very worried. There's chaos at meetings. What can be done? Could you play a role in stepping in in some way? What, what are, what's your take on the situation? So I've, I've looked at that question, whether the state uh, should uh, and can play a role. Um, the federal uh, authorities, as you may know, are involved and in, in investigating. I, I've read that. I think that's a public um, piece of information. Uh, there is an investigation that's been called for and now. I know there was a veto that was overridden that will now allow that investigation to go forward with former Mayor Lori Lightfoot in charge of that. Um, I think that those are two pretty good authorities for looking into this, investigating it, and getting to the truth. And the state, when you into We'll support them. Well, we again, we, we looked at whether we ought to put resources whether it's state police and their anti-corruption efforts or asking the attorney general the reality is that we already there are already two pretty significant investigations going on and so we'll support them in every way that we can uh, but it's really just a matter of do you want everybody running over each other in those investigations or do you want you know a two concerted efforts toward getting the facts then we get back to tiffany Henry and her boyfriend now, y'all remember the unethical things that she was doing because she's an elected official and she was allegedly sleeping with a married man? Um, it was alleged that this married man um, got a six-figure job uh, out there in Thornton Township um, and also a BMW. And everybody was asking, well, how did this man get this BMW? Why is she sleeping around with this married man? There was a whole bunch of allegations going on. So a, a Thornton Township resident got up and asked her a specific question about this 2024 BMW. And the boy, um, basically, she didn't say the name or who the, who the guy or girl, whatever, whoever it would be. She just said that she had a problem where there may have been Dalton's funds being mixed in with Thornton Township funds. And how, do, how does a Thornton Township employee need to have this, this, this um, BMW, this very expensive car? And so she took to the podium and she asked him to hear and of course she didn't get no answer, but she asked this here. Can you please um, state your name? Janelle Taylor. I have heard, I've not seen for myself, I don't know, that there is a, what I would 
would consider a rogue vehicle being paid for by the township, a luxury MPW. And I want to know was that budgeted last year and is it in the 2025 budget? And who is it for? And what does that person actually do for the budget? budget? That he or she needs that kind of vehicle. Hello. Yeah. All right, is that it? Are you done? Are you done? Are you done, ma'am? Okay, whoever Chris is, I'm going to ask you something. Unfortunately, cannot because just as some of the other residents have stated, I mean, we see this budget that. But then we get to Roger uh, 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 Parkawa. He is the Markham's uh, uh, Markham's uh, Township. He's the mayor of Markham's Township out there in uh, Thornton Township, right? The mayor of Markham, and <clears throat> he basically spoke about the corruption and the, the lack of transparency. He wanted to know where that money's going, you know. And he said it's not it's not just him. He said there needs to be a change in Thornton Township's leadership. It's it's just it's. And I, 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 well, I'll wait. I'll wait till my closing argument because let's just look at what he said, and then I'm, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna cover um, exactly what I've been saying the whole time. Check this out. Next up, for the mayor Markham is blasting Tiffany Hinyard over her behavior as Thornton Township supervisor. Dane Placco has more from the South Suburbs. The mayor of South Suburban Markham says he's had enough of all the drama surrounding Thornton Township Supervisor Tiffany Hanyard, and he plans to make a statement at tonight's village board meeting condemning her recent actions. I just really wish that some of that leadership would stop. Markham Mayor Roger Agpawa and village trustees and administrators told me this afternoon there needs to be a change in leadership at Thornton Township, which includes the village of Markham and more than a dozen other South Suburban communities. Thornton Township Supervisor Tiffany Henyard, who also doubles as Dalton Mayor, recently made remarks questioning property taxes and spending by communities in the township. But Henyard herself has been the focus of scrutiny and an FBI investigation for her spending practices, including expensive out-of-town trips, the use of both vehicles and employees for personal purposes, and a large security detail on the taxpayer's dime. I think that it's the polarization that leadership and politicians get, um, you know, and I think that it puts a, a bad taste and disdain to the residents and to the public and, and how we are perceived. We're suffering in Thornton Township, and Tiffany needs to stop. It's so hard to call her supervisor when she's not doing she's not doing anything right and it needs to stop. The mayor says Hanyard seems to enjoy operating in a culture of chaos and conflict, and he says for the benefit of taxpayers of Thornton Township, that needs to end. In Markham, Dane Placco, Fox 32 Chicago. Now again, I told you guys that there was corruption from Zuccarelli. There was there, there was corruption from the last mayor of of, of Dalton. There's been a, a, a large just swarm of corruption, period. Now, when Chief, uh, when Trustee Gonzalez and they, they voted her in at the last minute because they didn't want to go out to the greater township for a bigger vote, they, would, they, they, they put her in there because they thought that they could control her. They knew that she wasn't qualified. See, we should, they should have the bigger question. Um, I believe that Trustee Gonzalez should be um, investigated. Though all those people that was on that panel that voted to put her in there, there needs to be a thorough investigation on them. On them. Why was she there in the first place? Right? Why didn't these other 
uh, people have a vote on who was going to be the supervisor of their township. Why was she there? And there needs to be an overhaul in Dalton. There needs to be an overhaul in Thornton Township. Everybody got to go. They got to have a revote of people that can come in that's 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 qualified to do the job. That that can bring back some normalcy, some trust, some transparency back into the township and back into Dalton. Because a small city like that should not be on the news every day. All over the world, people's looking into this small town of 20,000 people, seeing what's going on because of all this foolishness. But I, I, I told y'all, it didn't start with Tiffany. She just came down and doubled down on it. She saw what she could do and also what she thought she could get away with because of what was, because the, the example that was already being set there. I don't trust, I don't trust Trustee Gonzalez as far as I can see him. But uh, I'm going to cut this video short here, man. If you made it this far in the video, hit that like button. Subscribe to Street Media TV. And leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about this, man. When you see these clips and they're asking the governor and the attorney general and the feds and Lori Lightfoot. And you got all these people coming into this small town and, 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 and township. There's been a, hist a history of corruption there. And I'll cut it short there, man. Remember, I love y'all. Till the next time, peace.